Hello, I'm going to tell you uh, how to make a map like this. So how you can track all the routes you take and then put them all into a map like this. And then you can see all the way, all the places you have been and what roads you have taken. Okay, let's see. First thing first, of course you have to have Google Earth. This program from Google. Then you have to have an Android phone with the GPS. And then when you have that phone, you have to download this program from Google, MyTracks. Yeah, it's pretty good. You see, it just tracks the route. You can actually see it uh, while you do, while you take the routes. You can see it tracking it, so you can zoom out and then decide what uh, what way you want to go. Yeah, and then see how many calories you have used and how many kilometers you have you have taken. With time and stuff like that, maximum speed, very interesting stuff. Then let's see how does it look. First of all, this is how it looks. So you just push this button, record, and then when you are ho home again, just push this button to stop recording. And then you will see the route here. So all the routes will be will be shown like this. In my tracks, it's really, really easy to use. Don't worry. And then just push this button and sync now to Google Drive. If it has some problem syncing, or, or you have to sync it right now. So just push this button. And then, after you have done this, just go to Google Drive. So my drive, my tracks. So just go to the drive, and it will have created a folder named my tracks. This is these are all my tracks. You can also install Google Drive on your computer. And then when you have done this, you can just go to the My Drive folder and then My Tracks folder again. It will look like this. So, as online but on your computer. Works like Dropbox. And then you take all these routes and paste them into Google Earth. So, pretty simple, right? This is Aarhus in Denmark. This is only one route. But let's see. Yeah. Now it will show. It shows all the routes I have. I actually, uh, these icons irritate me a lot. And these names too. And then the background and the red doesn't go well together. It's hard to see exactly where I have been. This is not good enough for me. So you can remove the icons here, but it will take a lot of time. We don't have time. So just right click on temporary folder. So you have all these copied. And then save. So let's see. Save places as. And then do you want the zip file or do you want the regular file? It really doesn't matter what you choose. Just regular file is fine. It's a big, big adult. Now we have saved it. And then we can go to this side or any... Oh, no, this side. Or any similar side to this side. So there's a lot of these sites and programs for this. But we will take these, uh, this file. And then we will save it as uncompressed. And we want only mouse over names and labels. And then set this to none. Waypoints, no, no. So let's find it. There it is. And we'll create a file. Remember to um, to choose the color of the roots. So you can colorize them by uh, by difference. Different things like speed. The fastest route roots will be a certain color. It just tracks, so all the routes will be, be a different color. So, but right now I've chosen the chosen all the routes to be blue. So we just download it. We we'll go to my maps, 
So just search my maps in Google and we'll show it will show you this. It's called my maps. Import. Import the file. Then it's a bit slow because I'm recording, but otherwise it should be a bit faster than this. And of course, you don't have to use my maps. You can use, uh, for example, this U U map. It works really well too, really well. But I like Google products, so I will use this. You can also use this GPS visualizer to uh, paste them there. So. You see all the places I've been and how long the single routes are and what they're called. So, for example, this route is 19 kilometers. It's pretty interesting. So, if you want to see where you have been or want to see where you have not been, then try to use this. Because I want to visit this lake, for example. I've never been here, not on a bicycle. So I want, of course, I want to to go there before I move to another city. And I think this is all. Oops.